please give a big welcome to our third competitor from New Zealand, Andrew North. I pulled up to view number 61 Ardmore Road this morning, this beautiful villa built somewhere around the 1900s. I was reminded of a quote from the famous English author and playwright Jerome K. Jerome when he said, I want a house that has gotten over all of its troubles. I do, not, I do not want to spend the rest of my life bringing up a young and inexperienced house. On the theme of on the theme of young and inexperienced, my name is Andrew North, but you'll only be too pleased to know that I work alongside the very experienced Mr Martin Cooper, who has endeavoured to provide to all of you the good documentation to help you with this really, really good buying decision. Part of that documentation, of course, the title, uh, which confirms that we do sell to you an estate in fee simple. Uh, yes, sir. The ownership of this property is nominated as 63% and 37% respectively uh, to the two owners. That sounds odd. Does this suggest that one party has more say than the other in today's proceedings? Am I compromised? I met with both of them. They seem to have equal say when they set the reserve price. I don't think there'll be any issues there whatsoever, sir. OK, good luck with your bidding today. Do, you want, do we want to do questions now or should we do them a bit later? <laughs> What I was saying, sir, but it's good to have you on board there. You've got your bidding paddle. Yeah, there you go. All registered, good to go. That's what we like to see. What I was saying, we do sell to you an estate in fee simple, some 415 square metres of land. Round here, that's like a lifestyle block. On lot 71 of block 2, deposited plan 3730. And you'll find that contained and described in unique identifier, volume 152, folio 34 of the North Auckland Land Registry. Now, there are no changes to the list of chattels from that distributed by, Mark, by Martin throughout the marketing campaign. Although I do note, note you've got all of those wonderful Miele appliances. They are the superheroes of the appliance world. My wife recently took me on a tour of the Miele showroom. Three things struck me as being extraordinary. What those things can do with food, how happy my wife looked, and the extraordinary price tag that we were presented at the end of the tour. <laughs> All I'm saying is there's lots of extra value here, ladies and gentlemen. Settlement date is Friday the 21st of December. That's 2018. I note the year was omitted from some of the contracts in circulation, but that is this year. It is, of course, the last uh, date in which you can settle this year. And, of course, on that particular date, our risk transfers from the seller to you as the new, as the new owner of the property. Now, I do recognise some of your faces, but if you are new to the auction arena, I remind you that we are selling subject to a reserve price. Your job as the buyers is to get the bidding up and over that reserve price. If we can achieve that, I will sell the property to whoever is the highest bidder whose bid I choose to accept. I'm going to nominate the incremental sums at which we move forward. I do have the right to refuse any of your bids. Uh, we have no telephone bidders or agents bidding on behalf of clients joining us today. Uh, my sellers, my owners, my vendors, they have given me and only me exclusive instructions to bid on their behalf if required on no more than two occasions. Of course, only below the reserve price. I must, of course, operate with absolute and full disclosure in that regard. If we have a disputed bid, what we're going to do is go back to the last undisputed bid and resume the auction from there. My owners, they do have the right to withdraw the property from sale at any stage without disclosing their reserve price. And here's the fun part, our new owner and successful purchaser. You'll be found when the contract descends to my palm like so. At that point, we congratulate somebody as the new owner. To everyone else, I'm really sorry. Back out into the marketplace in this tightly held precinct, I have to send you. If you want to get on with your life, really important that you are the final bidder when that contract comes to my palm like so. If it is, I then require you to sign the auction documentation. If you don't do, do so, I have the power to sign on your behalf. You are also agreeing to pay a deposit representing 10% of the final purchase price. I have no authority to collect any late bids. No calling down rights apply. And as my friend showed, uh, showed you before, registration, a prerequisite of participation. Martin tells me we've had some registrations. If you've been given a card, been given a number, could you just hold it up now? 
There we go, one. Anyone else? Okay, a couple there, all right. Yeah, the rest of you can show me later, that's okay. <laughs> I was happy to do questions at the start, but if there are any more questions, sometimes in my life I find I get questions. Anyone got one for me right now? In relation to the property. <laughs> okay, well look, growing up, mum and dad used to say to me, Andrew, son, you, you've got potential. No, they did. <laughs> oh, I thought it was a nice thing at the time. Until what I realised they actually meant uh, more work, more improvement required. I, I think the word potential has to be the greatest con in the entire universe. We are selling people, encouraging people to buy properties with potential. There is so much unrealised potential in the world. What there is less of is realised potential, like what I sell to you here at 61 Ardmore Road. No potential, no work. I was sitting with our sellers the other evening. Lovely, lovely people. They're incredibly proud of the job that they've done in relation to the property. And, and so they should be. It is a stunning, stunning home. I think we'll all agree. But gosh, they look tired. <laughs> and, I, and I see the renovators every week in my auction rooms. They're the ones with the bloodshot eyes, the blistered hands. So I reckon I also sell you today, not just the, uh, the key to the front door, I sell you the key to living, to life, to happiness. And uh, when you're centred in the hub of the city, third most livable city in the world, you want to have time to take advantage of all those wonderful, wonderful amenities. Of course, you don't start taking advantage of those amenities until you start your day in the best possible way. Underfloor heating in the bathrooms. I tested the shower pre pressure, excellent. Like little bolts, of, uh, little bolts of energy starting your, kick-starting your day for you as you move forward. And possibly, possibly a necessity if you had an extra rotor down the road at the elbow room. The Jewelboys Road checkpoint, that won't be an issue. You just stroll on through, good evening, Drunkstable. And they'll say good evening. <laughs> and they'll say good evening back to you. It's a wonderful community, a place, a part of the town where everyone knows your name. Back home, ladies and gentlemen, your family, your children in particular, they are going to thank you. Plenty of accommodation. You've got that fourth bedroom option. And round these parts, space, an absolute commodity and a premium. Talk to any Ponsonby child at the moment who's sharing a room with a sibling, and there are plenty of them, and say to them, if you had just one wish, what would it be? Be, you know they want their own room. Well, parents, you get an opportunity to be a wish granter, a dream maker. I love that saying, go to bed with a dream, wake up with a purpose. This is your purpose. This is your time. Buyers, bid with purpose, bid with poise. Whose life do we improve for the better? I promise you we do. In your hands. Somebody like to start me away with an opening bit Mr. Offer. Auctioneer. Yes, sir. Look, white is not my thing. And with all due respect, there's not a lot else going on here. So if I buy it, can I paint it grey, green or purple for that fact? My understanding is, sir, that you can paint it what, whatever colour you want. Um, completely over to you, as long as you're just painting your house, not anything else, that, that should be fine. Okay, shall we uh, give it a go at making it your house? Start me away. Four million dollars to start me away. I'll give you two million five hundred thousand New Zealand dollars. Well, I'll take the 2.5, sir, but with respect, we're not painting anything at that price point. <laughs> $2.5 five million dollars. I start away at $2.5 million there. Had a question from you, sir, before. Do you go straight to $3 million for me now? At 2.5 down the centre. First time, oh, sorry, I just need to see your number, sir. You've got one. Yeah, 50, I did see it before. 58. Good number there. At $2.5 million, straight to the three now. First time calling it away at 2.5. Second time... Third time calling it away. Well, buyers, I'm completely comfortable with these numbers. I place a seller bid, my first one, at $3 million. Hopefully my last one. I'll bid give you $3 million. OK, good to have you in, sir, at $3 million. I'll take your bid now. Retract my vendor bid. I've used none of them at $3 million. <laughs> at $3 million now. At $3 million. There's your competition, sir. 3.5. Not at this stage, he says. 3 million, three million and 10. 3 million. What's it? 3 million and 10. Sir, could you go to 3.5? Need to do a bit better than that at this stage. At three million dollars, even money you, you there. You took his bid. Yes, his was five hundred thousand dollars, and I'll take five hundred from you as well, sir. Why don't we meet in the middle at two fifty now? 
OK, take your 10 then at 3 million and 10 now. First time, second time, third time calling 3 million away. And 25. At 3 million and 10 and 35 was 25. At 25. At 3 million and 35. No, 3 million and 25. 3 million and 25. The bet over here at 3 million and 25 to go. First time now at 3 125k. 3 million and 25. That's better, sir. At 3 million and 25. Oh, at, th at 3,150. Good. Three million one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Do we fight fire with fire with another twenty-five to go? One twenty-five up here. Sorry, one fifty. Three million one hundred and fifty. The bid now. First time at three one five zero. One hundred and fifty k. Increasing your own bid, sir. At three one fifty. Three point three million dollars. That's how we play the game today. Get the paintbrushes out. At three point three million dollars down the centre. We bid away, bid away. Bye bye. 3.3 and 3.5 and a half the bid now at 3,550,000 the bid there, sir, with a good play at this stage of the game. 3.5 and a half. 300 grand, ma'am. Oh, ho, ho. we are going to enjoy working together, you and me today. At 3.8 and a half the bid now. 3.85 the bid now. 3.8 shortens my stride again at 3 at 39 and 75 the bid now. 39 and 75 here the bid now. I, do, I work in the one and a quarters if you want now. 3975. First time now. 150. Another 150 on top. At 3975. That's going to take me to 4.1 and a quarter. Ma'am, happy with the bet at 4.1 and a quarter to go. At 4,125. Good to be working with people that know what they're doing. What, 125? One and a quarter. We've got there at four and a quarter the bed now. 4,250 the bed now. 4,250 the bed to go. First time now. At 4,250,000 dollars there. 150. At 4.4 the bid now. 4.4 back with the lady at 4.4 million dollars in front she goes. At 4.4, sir, I know you know what to do. At 4.4 down the scene, another 150 to go, is it now? First time now at 4.4 million dollars. Second time at 44. 44. All the fours in a line. Okay. If we'll play with that. At 4 million 444. Uh, sorry. So bid was 4.4 and you're 44,000 on top. So it is all the fours in a row. 4444. Four, four. Okay, 4,444 to go. Ma'am, what would you like to... It's a playful bunch in Ponsonby. At $4,444,000, you're giving me 44 as well. At 88, the bid now. At 488, what have you started, sir? At 488, the bid here. 4,488, another 44 to go. First time now. Five. Five, 4.5, good bid, sir. At 4.5, the bid now. You are my friend. At $4.5 million. Have I seen your number, sir? Could I just see it? Good, 75 at $4.5 million there. Bid stands. That's where it lands at 4.5. Do you give me 25 to go anywhere, buyers? First time now. Second time the call now. Third time the call at $4.5 million. I'll give you 45. Okay, happy to take it, sir. It's a $1,000 improvement on your last bid. We're going along nice. At 5.45 the bid now. Four million five and forty-five. There does somebody take up the invitation to give me another forty-five to go? She does at ninety now. At five ninety, she's just copying you, sir. At five hundred and ninety, we've got now. At five ninety, and I can see why, sir. Six. She's got good taste. Five ninety. Six. Okay, then at four point six, the bed now. Six. Okay, ninety-six. Four ninety-six there. I reckon we'll get. Sorry, four five ninety-six. Huh? Four point six. $4.6 million, thank you, sir. Now, that could have been your bid, sir, at $4.6 million, but I know you know what to do to get back in front. At $4.6, winning bid, up in the expensive seats. 46, good bid, sir. At 646, what do we say in response, sir? 646, I've got here. Ma'am, you usually do what he does. 46, okay. So we go to 92. 692 the bid now. Four million six and ninety-two thousand dollars. Six ninety-two is the winning bid here. And usually what happens is you give me seven now. <laughs> <laughs> and it'll be seven thousand or four point seven. Seven. <laughs> four point seven. <laughs> hey! Four point seven million dollars down the centre, thank you, sir. Four point seven. He stole your bid at four point seven million dollars down the centre. Buddy, what's the bid, sir? 47, the pilot's here. 747, the bid now. 4,747. What are we saying? Oh, you, yeah, okay, you're doing the 47 now as well, aren't you? Yeah? Do you round me to, why don't you round me to 50 and make it 97? Nope. Okay, 94, the bid then. 
794 we've got now. At 794, winning bid now. At 794, are you giving me an 8? 4.8? Will you give me an 8, sir? 794 we've got now. First time now at 4,794 with the lady holding grand. the bid. Huh? 80 grand. 80 grand the bid now at, at 94. So we're going to 8. It was a bit 80 grand, 80 grand on top there. I prefer 100. <laughs> <laughs> bid stands at 94 there, so we go to, uh, so we go to uh, 74 for you, sir. 874. 874, good with the bid there. At uh, 4 million, 8 and 74, the bid now. 874, gentlemen, take it with the strategic bid at 874. What do we say in response? First time the bid now at 4 million, 874. Second time, third time the call at 4 million, 874. Do you round me up? Surely. Somebody goes to 4.9. Only money, what else would you do with it anyway? Have a reminder, another look at the property. Absolutely beautiful, all the hard work done for you. Yes, you can change the colour of the paint if you want to, sir, but you need to bid right now to have that opportunity to do so. At 4 million, 874. Down the centre right. First, second, third final call. OK, good news, sir. At this particular point, you are in the driving seat, not quite at a level where I can sell. Would you like to improve your position? My owners often like rounded numbers. Do you give me another, even a wee one on top? 80 not, grand. Uh, 80 grand. Well, I was asking for one, but, sir, you are special. <laughs> <laughs> OK, at, uh, at, at 84, another... So, uh, 964 is your bid, sir. 964? It's 4,954,000. 54 the bid now. At 54 we've got now. 4 million nine fifty four the bid. 54 we've got now. 9 40. Million, uh, 9 54, beg your pardon, sir? 40. 40 at 54 and 94 the bid now. At 9.54 we've got now. 4 million nine and 54 winning bid here. To the right. First time now. At, sorry, Five nine. Bids. So 50, uh, sorry, 54 and yours is 40 at 94, right? Yes. 9.44. Uh, sorry, uh, nine, four million nine ninety four. Yeah, well, look, it's been a long day. <laughs> <laughs> four million nine ninety four. The bid now nine ninety four. There, just shy of the five million dollars. Does somebody take me there now? At ninety four, we've got now for the very first time, second time, and ten on top. He fakes me through the five million dollar barrier. Barrier five double oh four. The bid now at five million and four. Good to have you back, sir. Tens I happily take now at five million and four. Winning bid here for the first time, second time. Third time calling it away at five million and four. Well, sir, with that strategic bid at five double oh four, I confirm I have been given instructions. I sell the property. Somebody leaves as the new owner. The rest of you just leave. At five million and four on the market, we play for ownership opportunity to improve your life. At five million and four down the centre here. First time. Second time. 1500 bucks. 800 bucks at 5 million. 1500 bucks. 1500 bucks at 5 million and 4 and 5.5 and the bid now. 5 double oh five and, and, and a little bit of change at 5 million and 5. 500 the bid now. Sir, we don't miss out on it for, five, for 1500, do we now? Do we come back with 1500? 5.5. Five 5.5. And five and We've got 11 the bid over here. 11 the bid now at 5 million and 11. That was 5.5, wasn't it, sir? 11 the bid now. Yep. Yeah, and 16 and a half the bid now. At 16 and a half, you've started something. It feels like it anyway. At 16 and a half, and five and a half now to go there. At 16 and a half, at 22 the bid now. At 22 the bid now. Five million and 22. Neat, even there. And another five and a half at 27, five. 27 and a half now. First time calling it away. At five million, 27 and a half. Another, another five and a half, sir. 28 and 33 the bid now. At 33 we've got now. Isn't this fun? Take a deep breath, smile and bid. 33 we've got now. At 5 million and 33 and 38 the half. At 38 the half here, back against you, sir. At 38 the half, I am selling it away now. At 38 the half and four, at 30, 39 and 44. At 44 we've got now. 5 million and 44. Gentleman holds the bid at the rear, not you, sir. At 44, the bid now. I am selling the property away at 5 million and 44 for the first time. Second time. 
Third time calling it away. Well, really simple, ladies and gentlemen. Are you out, sir? <coughs> you out, sir? Out? Out? Then if I see no better better offer at 5 million 44, confirm your bid, sir. I sell it. It's going. Go Five on. and a half thousand. What? Five and a half thousand. <laughs> <laughs> 49, 49 and a half. Like, it's just too good to let it go for five and a half, right? 49 and a half the bid now. At 49 and five the bid now. At five million and 49 and a half. Don't leave it that late, please. Remember, remember I said I can't reopen the bidding once the contract comes to palm. At 49 and a half. At five million and 49, 500, I sell it away. For want of a bit of an officer, I take another five and a half from you. You know I will. I sell it. You're out. <sighs> out. Yeah. Well, you, well, you're out. Okay, you're out. Yeah. <laughs> 49 and a half. Hey. hey, good to have you back, sir. And I'm going to give you plenty of time to do that all day. <laughs> okay, at 55 now, the bit. At 55, sir, I give you the same opportunity to retort. Not my fault you've got such good taste and plenty of others like it as well. At 55 is the bit here. At 5 million and 55, I sell it away again. Call it three times. Worked last time. First time. Second time. Third Final call, sir, you're sure? Uh, 55. My final bid is 150000 OK, well, I said I was inexperienced at the start. <laughs> but I'm looking, for, I'm looking forward to uh, putting your 150 on top of the 55 there, and we go straight to $5,205,000. You happy? Less of a shambles? <laughs> 5205, you're winning anyway. At $5,205,000, buyers. Mr. Yes. Auctioneer. Yes, sir. Five and a half. 5205 and ten and a half the bid. Five and a half. So you want $5.5 million as your bid. At $5.5 million, that's the bid there at 5.5. Ma'am, I know you've got more in you. He's got it at the moment of 5.5. What's your bid, sir? Five and a half. So 5,550 the bid now? Five and a half. $1,000. Okay, we're back to the five and a half. So, okay, good. <laughs> five oh five and a half the bid now. At 5,505 and a half now. Does he steal it from you, sir? I surely not. 505 and a half down the centre here. With that last minute astute and timely bid. At 5,505, $500, I am selling it away. First. Finish it, mate. 50 grand. 55 and a half the bid now. 555 and a half we've got now. 5 million 555 and a half. Lots of fives. <laughs> At 5 million 555 the half, I sell it now over here. I can see so many of you want it, I don't blame you, but I have to sell to only one. First time now, second time, it is on the market. Third final call at 5 million 555 and $500. You're definitely out, sir. Permission to sell, not to you. Still out. Going. Three Going. Huh? Is that a bid, sir? Three and a half. 59. Good bid, sir. Good to have you back. Right at the stage. At $5,559,000, up there you can see your competition. At $5,559,000, does he get it for three and a half? Sir, surely not. First time, second time, third final call. And at $5,500,000, and fifty-nine thousand dollars. If you're out, sir. Out, out. I sell it. It goes. You sure? <laughs> sell thirty years. Congratulations, well bid. Well, indeed, well bid. Look, to everyone else, indeed, well, well fought. Uh, tremendous opportunity for me to be part of this, improving, gaining a bit more experience. Ma'am, I'm sorry about the shambles earlier. Uh, to everyone else, for your time, attention and attendance, we wish you a very good afternoon. Thank you so much for being here.